Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Um, we've set up the rods back on the Osk. It's a little bit breezy today, there's not much happening on the rods or on the rod. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to do a quick review of my preview backpack. It's a bit of a game changer. That's the shakes of the Like it. I've used it a lot, so let's just use the dirt on it. Uh, I've had it for about three months, or two months, and it's just perfect for my needs. Uh, exception I need for going fishing, kind of walking, I'm going to get it on the bus. I'm very comfortable to bear. Um, the backpack. Saying that, I've only sort of worn it and used it in the winter time, like spring months, so I've had the coat on and padded coat. So how this is going to feel on during the summer when I'm just wearing a t-shirt, I'm not sure because it doesn't have uh, a waistband but you can buy those really easily on uh, Amazon so that's not a problem It does have padded backpack uh, padded uh, I don't have a lot it so I just don't think it's going to be heavy When I walk down the Oscar So you know one thing that I think is missing was apart from that. Let's take a look and see what I like. Okay, so that's the, uh, the backpack. I do like the one with the uh, the backrest. It does actually make a big difference uh, when you're sitting down for comfort and a bit of stability. The seat isn't particularly wide, um, but it's good enough. I mean, it's strong enough. I'm 18 stand, so I'm not particularly lightweight, and I feel more than comfortable on this. One of the things I have done, um, what I've ordered, is, you know, on those uh, proper fishing chairs, you get a uh, rod rest. I've just ordered a batch from the shop of uh, Universal Rod Rest, so it should fit on there, um, and I'll need that for when I'm beach fishing. Because at the moment, I'll just use a spike for my rod, uh, which is great when you're on a riverbank and you've got some soft ground to pull it in. But I noticed when I went to Perth, uh, sorry, Penarth, uh, the sand's very weak there and it's mainly sort of rock and you can't really get a, uh, a good hold on that. So I just linked my rod against the back, which of course meant I couldn't sit on it. So hopefully, with that rod rest um, I'm about to see how it goes it might be a bit tight because as I say the seat's not wide and if you've got a rod rest sticking up there you're going to be even less space to spread the legs let's have a quick look at this now this is the uh, straps fairly padded as you would on a normal rucksack um, to collapse it down you just take that off and then those goes down the sides. So make sure you don't put too much into those side pockets. Otherwise you might have a problem trying to collapse it back down and it just folds up. Really easy to do. And that back vest is, is a bit of a game changer really. So bag wise, you've got two side pockets. Obviously use that one for my, my flask. And that one I use for my camera, leaves, and everything else. So that's good. So right here, it's quite windy here on the other today. And then after that, you've got your maid apartment there, which I'll put my uh, telescopic rods fit in there quite happily to give me my uh, tripod for the camera, a couple of bait boxes, towel, sandwiches. So that's your main compartment. And then you've got a little front pocket here, which I use for my handy wet wipes, towel, and I'll put the uh, sandwiches and the uh, the backrest cover goes in there as well. 
So overall, it's a nice, comfortable fit. As I say, it doesn't have a waistband and it doesn't have chest bands. Uh, but yeah, as you don't want a big rucksack. But this isn't a big rucksack. So it doesn't really need it, really. So the material is waterproof. It's uh, polyester waterproof. The seat is like a, it's comfortable, felt like seat. Seems strong enough, 18 stone, and I don't have a problem with it. Legs um, aren't adjustable, so it's just like a nice to put it. Um, the solid straps, uh, just click together, and you've got your two drawstrings, you've got a top drawstring, and you've also got a water cover on the drawstring as well. Overall, I'm really impressed. And my favourite feature of it is the backrest. And the one feature it doesn't have, uh, which would make it really ideal, is if I had a small wallet type of pocket on the top of this uh, cover. So that would allow you then to put in your fishing permit, credit card parking permits and a fishing, fishing license just a small one, nothing too major if it had one of those then it would just be perfect but I'm very happy with this definitely give it a 9.5 out of 10 only losing that 0.5 because of that lack of a small credit card wallet um, size of a pocket but apart from that, really nice uh, I'd certainly recommend it. It's been a game changer for me. Give me lots of space. And most importantly, it's given me a chair to sit on. When I've used the Abacus here, plus over bag, it contained pretty much everything I need for fishing. But I couldn't carry my camera or tripod or anything like that. With this, I can. Very comfortable to wear. As I say, 20 minutes I walk regularly down to the River Rusk in the my back. I've had no problems with it. Uh, very comfortable fit. So, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And uh, I would probably recommend this as a product review. Thank you. As always, if you like it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share.